الحمد لله وكفى والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى إخوة الإيمان السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رمضان is with us and we are with Ramadan and الحمد لله we are enjoying we should be enjoying fasting staying away from food and drink Six is six is seventeen hours, and we have iftar, and we have taraweeh, we have qiyam al-layl, we have dhikr, we have Quran. It's a host of things that we should keep ourselves busy with, rather than not uh, doing things that which will not generate or earn us any benefit. Ikhwani, as it has been announced. We're we'll trying, inshallah, to speak about what can we learn today, inshallah, in this lecture. Ramadan, ikhwani, is a great opportunity and a chance. Hey, a fursa. Hey, a munasabah. That counts once a year for us to help us develop our positive character. And when as Ikhwani can we have many, many, I would say so many motivations, when else, if it is not in Ramadan? Many motivations to help us get better and improve ourselves. When? That is the month. The station of goodness, or you can even call it the season of goodness, as I use, I love always to call it, or I would really um, choose to call it the season of goodness. What I would like to speak today, inshallah, and I really pray to Allah Azza wa Jalla that we can try to learn something out of this lecture and put something into practice, not just about listening but also having determination willingness you're going to listen something we're going to try inshallah to practice it and do it i think i think this is the aim behind you're going to sit there you're going to listen to not necessarily me any other lecture, lecturers or reminders or imams or scholars yeah you have to sit down with that intention so i'm going to learn something today Learning is the first stage, or maybe the first step. The second step is to learn and practice. Learn and practice. Because if you learn and practice, Allah Azza wa Jalla will inherit you the aim that you don't know. And this is how it works. The more we, we learn and practice, the more we advance in gaining more knowledge. Does it make sense here, Ikhwan? And again, knowledge, as I said yesterday, or the day before, knowledge is not just about having a loads of of storage of, of, of narrations, references, and books, and narratives. No, aim, the real aim is the fear of Allah. If you are pious of Allah, if you are pious of, uh, 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 on Allah Azza wa Jal, and, and you are Allah's conscious, you are fearful of Allah, that itself is a really is the core of what we call knowledge. Okay? So, let's start practicing in this Ramadan being kind. Because if you're not kind, then subhanAllah. If you're not polite, then subhanAllah. If you're not easygoing person, approachable, forgiving, then what is the effect and what is the, even the essence? What is the benefit of we pray, we come to the masjid, we read Quran, and we fast? What would be actually the, even the impact on that, that on our day-to-day -day life? Let's focus on this. Let's practice being kind. And we can do this, Ikhwani, show, we can show the attitude of kindness in many ways, in many ways, yeah? It doesn't matter how simple that it may be. Let me say this, yeah? First, first, be kind to yourself first. 
Now, how am I going to be kind to myself? By being nice, looking good, speaking good, even appearing good, showing goodness to my own, to my, even to my own self, being kind to myself, learn the etiquette of speech, being seen to others as a man of peace, a man of dignity, man of honor, man of support. Also, now I've been kind to myself. And also, being kind to myself means that I do things that will benefit me in the day of judgment. That's being kind to myself. And the list can go on and on and on and on. Not just this, also you show kindness to your family members. If you are married, have a wife, show kindness to your wife. Don't be violent to your wife. Don't be harsh to your wife. Don't be rude to your wife, to the lady, to the woman that shares your life your companion, someone you are married to. Show kindness, show politeness, okay? Be kind to your colleagues, be kind to your friends, be kind to your manager, be kind to your supervisor, and also be kind to your neighbors. I said neighbors, I did not see Muslim neighbors. Huh? I see neighbors. Allah Azza wa Jalla said in the Quran, Wa qulu linnasi husnan. I really want you to listen to this because I did mention that in the previous lecture. I'm going to say it again. And I'm, I, I'm serious about this verse. Say a word of kindness to people. In the Quran, it did not say to Muslims, to the Arabs. To this, there's no specification here. Goodness, who are these people? It's everybody. Muslim and the non-Muslim. Far and near. You speak to them kindly. You speak to them with love, easiness, forgiveness. If one of you, if you're not doing this, then we have yet to learn something in our deen. And we have yet to benefit from the daily prayer that we pray. Even to strangers, yeah? Any stranger who you meet, huh? for that matter, you show kindness to him. This is how the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa used to do. Because he was so kind. And don't ask me about his kindness and generosity in the months of Ramadan. Allah Akbar, he will, he will reach the height, the highest level of kindness of, and generosity in Ramadan, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he been, actually has been compared as the smooth wind that freshens everybody. When the winds come, nice, mashallah, the climate nice and mashallah warm, it touches everybody, a Muslim and a non-Muslim. I tell you what, I tell you something. A man, a random man would come and sit with the Prophet. He never ever meet the Prophet. He would sit with the Prophet and instant it would change his entire life. Do we do this today? SubhanAllah, today people are fleeing from us. So while we are doing this, anyway, people are running away from our gatherings. Right away from our homes, right away from shaking hands with us, from hugging us, because they're gonna look at us. This guy is gonna give me a bit of trouble. You know, this guy, you know, blah blah blah. This guy, he, he, he's he's even his reputation is not that sound. Maybe he sells this, maybe he smokes this, maybe I don't know. It could be anything. So, Subhanallah, a man will sit with the Prophet an instant, an instant. The Prophet, few words, few words, ikhwan. No lectures like we do now. Few words, that man's life changed everything. He would meet the Prophet disbeliever, came out of the Prophet he would leave Rasulullah, a Muslim, mashallah, everything changed. I used to say bad things about you, man. You are the best now. You are the dearest person to my life. You, don't you know that Umar was heading towards the Dar al-Arqam to kill the Prophet? And the Prophet tapped on his chest and said, Umar, 
how long are you going to do this to me? How long are you going to carry that hatred against me? And let me hit it what? And I said, uh, Umar is gone. Alhamdulillah. And he made dua the Prophet. That's not, the talk, that's not my point. The point is this, ya akhwan. Inna Allah yu'ati ala leel, ma la yu'ati ala shidda. Allah Azza wa Jalla gives for gentleness and leniency that which he doesn't grant for rudeness and harshness. So you can try, you can choose to be a rude and harsh, and also you can try to be a lenient and approachable, easy, kind, loving, forgiving, and you see what Allah will do to you. وَأْمُرْ بِالْعُرْفِ Look at the etiquette. We don't need other to teach us anything in our, in, even in, 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 in our, in, in the dunya or, or the deen. We have everything in our deen, alhamdulillah. Let it be your way of dealing with people. You pardon them. Means, means more command that which is good. And when foolish people try to provoke you, to uh, 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 abuse you, or to wrong you, you stay away from them. You don't swear back. I don't swear back to the no Muslim. You F, you B. It's okay. Especially in, 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 when you are fasting. Especially when you are fasting. I said that the other day. You know when you, when you are outside, walking or driving, it could be many instances that happens where people, somebody from nowhere will come and, and provoke you. Maybe it gives you a finger and it swears you for no reason, for no reason. Well, how will you respond to that? That is jahil. I don't care what he has in his heart or in his mind. That that's man is jahil. Now, how should I behave with jahil? Let it go. Let it go. So be kind, Ikhwani. Be kind. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best of all, is the best example that we should look at. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In fact, uh, a, a lot has been written on his level, on his utmost, utmost level of politeness and kindness. Kutibat fi siratihi wa fi akhlaqihi. Kutubun azimatun fi akhlaqihi. And the way he used to deal with others. Many, many things have been written about his utmost kindness, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His love, his kindness. His words of kindness, his love for children, his love for animal, animals, his love for the environment, his amazing character with his wives, wives, S, not wife, one word, nine wives, amazing character with his wives, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his kindness, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He taught us, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to, that we need to be better in confronting hate. We need to be better. We need to do better than what we, to, we, we do today. Punch with two punches. Kick with stabbing. So we don't need to do this, Ikhwan. We need to be better. We need to be better in confronting hate rather than, rather than actually displaying and showing the same level of those who promote hate. Here, Ikhwani, I'm not referring to anybody in the masjid, by the way. I'm just talking in general is not personal is general to to all of us okay if i remember if i remember that is in surah fusilat chapter 41 verse 3 4 fusilat allahu akbar here is the Quran that we are not aware of, Ya Ikhwan. The policy, the etiquette, the manual, the teacher. Allah Yaqul Azza wa Jal, evil and good are not equal. Pure and impure are not equal. Kufr, kufr and iman are not equal. Shirk, tawheed, not equal. Scholar and jahil are not equal. And Quran al Karim so explicitly recommended, say, now repair that which is evil with that which is better. Where it says here, kill and stab and, 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 and 
الرينج بوك ات دازن ساي ادفع بالتي هي احسن لا قل اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وات از ذا وورد ولا تستوي الحسنه ولا السيئه ادفع بالتي هي احسن ها اند اف يو دو ذيس يو نو وات ويل هابن وي هاف تو بيبل يو برونك مي اند اي ريبيل ذا اند اي ريبي ذا ريبيل اف ات از something's abuse or confrontation I repel it and I push it away with that which is good there are many many examples that I can give you but it's going to take long فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك سبحان الله فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم and then the person between you and him there is enmity This is what the Quran says. There is enmity, there is animosity, there is a quarrel and dispute between you and because you will be nice to him, yeah, it will be كأنه become like a wali uh, hamim, uh, a very good, loving friend. It was my enemy, I would become like a very loving friend. It's a good friend. Ikhwani, we need to learn this. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's very easy. It's not, a, it's not an easy process. It's not something that you're going to achieve uh, and overnight. You need, you, we need to practice this. We need to know first, if we do this, what, 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 what would we get? And how, uh, the way, practical ways into achieving these and, um, and, and, and have that mastership of kindness in our heart, in our mind, in our, with, with everybody. It's not easy. Well, it's not easy. Because our nerves, our nerves loves to retaliate. To retaliate, to van, to actually take vengeance. This is the nafs. And the nafs are amara to be so. Okay. Now let me give you, give you give you an example. Yeah. Ikhwani, as the embodiment of the Quranic values, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had shown <coughs> had shown the ideal virtues, such as in many instances, in many instances, how. To how to rise, how to rise above hate and enmity, and he emphasized. Salallahu. I'm going to give you an example, and he emphasized that forgiveness is a, a greater that revenge, perseverance is larger than retaliation, and that love is better than hate. Love is better than hate. The example I really would like to share with you from the seerah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we all must have heard many times about the Taif incident. The Taif incident. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was under pressure, the atrocities, persecution, torture. From his own people to him and his companions, he decided to change the environment, to change the place, to change the, the place, the country, the, the land, and to go and preach Islam to a new faces, a fresh new faces. So he decided to go where? Huh? To Taif. Hmm. Allahu Akbar. So. He went to Taif uh, uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you know why he did in Taif? He chose mercy over retaliation. He chose hope over despair. So he went to Taif as a part of his prophetic mission to disseminate his message of Tawheed. Now what happened to him in Taif? The day he welcomed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And hospitalized the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, welcomed him and hugged him. No, no, Allah akbar. He was not only he was not only rejected, but he was later humiliated by the people of Taif. The children of that city were instructed by their elders to throw stones on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They caused Rasulullah to bleed from his ankle. Do you know who is he? He wasn't a normal man. He was a prophet of Allah. And he was not just a prophet of Allah. The best of Allah is a prophet. Not even that. The best of Allah's creation. You know what happened to him? Fi sabilillah. He said, man, I said, you're killing me. I'm not asking you money. 
I'm not asking you why. I'm not asking you wealth, position. I'm just asking you to say there is no God. But Allah, I'm a, I'm a warner to you. I'm warning you. If you're going to proceed with your disbelief, you're going to be punished by Allah Azza wa Jalla. And this is Allah's law with regard to previous nations and tribes. I'm not asking you to give me even food. He was humiliated, disgraced, dishonored. As I said to you, even the, some of the narration I've read, they actually made from both sides some people who are actually mentally disturbed. Like crazy people, like crazy, yeah? From among the children, yeah? They don't know what they're doing, yeah? They actually line them against, from both sides, uh, start, they start throwing stones on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. With his servant was with him. You know what happened? And he was uh, driven out from the city. He went out of the city and no, no, no one where to go. And he went under the shade of a tree, rejected, hurt, refused. You know what he said? And then he forwarded this historical Amazing du'a. Allahumma inni ashku ilayka da'fa quwwati wa qillata hilati. Ya arhamar rahimin ila man takiluni ila aduwuni tajahamuni. Am ila qaribin. Man laktahu amri. In lam yakun bika alayya ghadabun fala ubali. Ghayra anna aafiyataka aw sa'ali aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma a'udu. Look at du'a, historical du'a. Still recorded today. People are reading it. I'm reading it to you. From that time to 2022. Because it was amazing du'a. It's nothing there against them. It's just he prayed. He prayed for them. That's du'a of Tayyar. أن تنزل بي غضبك أو أن يحل علي سقطك لك العتبة حتى ترد ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. That's the du'a of the Prophet. I managed to get the nearest English translation of the du'a. Oh my Lord, I appeal to you from my weakness. My weakness. He did it. He is weak. He said because I, 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 I have been that good. I've been a bit weak. Otherwise, I could do. I could have done better. He. He blamed himself. Amazing, ya ikhwan. Had the Nabi al-Azim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I appeal to you for my weakness in my strength, my lack of support, and the treatment of contempt and humiliation from people. O oh, the most compassionate, merciful, to whom do you leave me now, O oh Allah? I'm on my own. Who are you going to leave me? Do I will make you cry, subhanAllah. To a decent person who receives me with hostility, or to a friend who have given me control of my affairs. As long as you're not displeased with me, this is what can serve us of Allah. Uh, oh Allah, uh, what happened? Okay, I'm going to leave it on a sign. As long as you're not angry with me, I'm happy. Big man, big prophet, a big player on the field of Tawheed. A big goal scorer against the nafs, against shaitan, against hatred and animosity. I would, however, be much happier with your protection. I seek refuge in the glory of your light, by which all dark darkness is dispelled, and by which both this life and, and the life to come are put in their right course against incurring your anger or being the subject of your displeasure. To you I submit until you are pleased. There are no control or power except that which is by you. No control of power except by Allah. And upon the finishing of this dua, when he finished this dua, an angel descended, was sent. Angel of Al Jibad. That's not anybody. Mikael. Doesn't matter, according to some versions, some narrations. 
Medical Jibal, the angel of mountains. How mighty is the angel? We're not talking about you and me, Ikhwan, or even the sound of galaxies or the. Is it? Only Allah knows the size of this angel. He plays, he just. He, the way he deals with mountains is like sweet. Very powerful. And he was sent to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he offered Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if he wished the action, the action to actually uh, punish action against the people who hurt the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I said, I'm here, Rasulullah, I'm conveying salam from Allah. I'm here under your command. Whatever you want me to do, I, me and Allah, we witness what happened to you. And we are here to sort these people out. So what do you command? He's got the army now, the army. He's got the power. Ikhwani, he responded by saying, Inni, sallu ala nabi. إني لا أرجو أن يخرج الله من أصلابهم من يعبد الله وحده لا شريك له. He must be prophet, otherwise an imposter, somebody who lies about him, himself, or who lies to people will never ever ever say this. Is a total forgiveness, immense kindness. Oh Allah, I would rather, I would rather hope, he said, I would rather hope that you will raise from among them, I mean their, their, their descendant, a people who will worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and without associating partners with him. Why I would like to share with you on the light of this incident, historical incidents, is this. And I will try to conclude with it. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi he did not respond with rage and retaliation. Instead, what he did? What did he do? Did he pray for them or against them? He prayed for them. Allahu Akbar. He prayed for those who insulted and hurt him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He rose above Hate and enmity. He rose above that. And we need, we need to learn to do the same. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his heart was full of mercy and hope. Are we going to learn this inshallah? Yeah? You see inshallah. Ikhwani, another incident similarly in the aftermatch of Ghazwat Uhud. You know what happened to Ghazwat Uhud? I'll, I will conclude with this, inshallah. In the aftermatch of Ghazwat Uhud, they dismissed, ignored the Prophet's order to stay at the top of the mountain. Don't move, man. Don't move from there unless I command you to move. Now, upon seeing the Muslimin are gaining the war, alhamdulillah, and the, the, the Ghadai will be, be, start being collected, and the the disbelievers were rushing, actually fleeing, fleeing from the battlefield. They, they, they moved from their places. The Prophet said, whatever happens, stay there. They disobeyed Allah's, uh, uh, Allah's messenger order. Stay there. And they said, oh, they, have, they, have, they have a reason. They have a reason. You can see they have a reason. Because Alhamdulillah, uh, Muslim are now on the other side. But we are winning. Let's go and be on their side. Said the man, you stay there. You know what happened? The balance, the kafa was reversed. <laughs> because Khalid ibn Walid has a different idea. He was a very, very, very smart warrior. I don't want to go into the story. It was narrated, Ikhwani, that the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu, because of this, because of this, it was narrated that Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was greatly injured. Greatly injured. Bleeding from his cheek. Loses one of his tooth. And, and he was also in a, in a position, in a way, that the kuffar came to him and they were about to kill him. 
maybe six or four with, 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 with the sword. And he was there, sallallahu alayhi wa But he was a warrior, very courageous, very brave, fearing no one but Allah. He said, I am Muhammad al Nabi al Haq. I am the Prophet of Allah, the truth. But again, ikhwani, the shahid indana huna, a shahid indana, something that we, 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 we try to draw from this is this. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam actually he, he, he didn't become even what happened to him what happened to him he did not become resentful or held a grudges with his adversaries no he didn't rather he actually he, 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 he prayed that they would be forgiven that they would be forgiven and this incident basically was narrated by Imam Muslim in his Sahih in the Bab. Bab means sub-topic, sub-topic Ghazwat Uhud. You can check it in Imam, Imam Muslim in his Sahih. Okay? Sub-topic, the Ghazwat Uhud. And it shows the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a response by making the dua, the following dua. Allahumma gfir li qawmi fa inna hum la ya'lam. They, they hurt you. They hurt you. They, they cause you to bleed. And subhanAllah, so many things they did. Your own people. They said, no. And he explained, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that this dua was invoked by previous messengers. Now, the same, subhanAllah, apart from at the end when he was actually under pressure and, there's, and he knew, or he knew, Prophet Nawa, that nobody will enter Islam. Then he prayed against them. As long as there is hope, we don't pray against people. Pray for them. So this incident is not just this ikhwan. There are many, many, many incidences where it shows that indeed forgiveness, forgiveness is far better, far greater than, than revenge, than revenge. You know, Khwani, there is a hadith that speaks about the person has the ability to retaliate and he actually withdraw from that. You know what I'll give you? Allah will give you Izza. So you broke me and I have the power to sort that, sort you out and give you sabi sa'in. And I said, no, wait a second. Okay, I tell you what, give me a I forgive you. Is that not victory? A victory against who? Against your own self and a victory against the shaitan. Shaitan whispers. Shaitan flames. Shaitan erupts like a volcano. Shaitan will say, who are these guys now? You are a coward. Sort him out. Give me a gift. So shaitan. Can't you see the person when he's angry, what happened to his vein here, around his neck? Can't you see what happened to his, to his face? It's like a volcano. It's like a volcano. It's like an erupted volcano. Person in anger, Iyad Billah can say to his wife, you talik, 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 even more than three times. A person under, this, under the effect of anger can really be a mess up. Can do love, can say word of cover, can say words of, from Allah's displeasure, can say many things. Then he will regret at the end, in, in, in a way that that regret won't benefit him in anything. So let's learn this, Ikhwan. Because when we are angry, we call the shaitan to run the show. And by the way, by the way, you know the word Ramadan. Ramadan. Ramadan is derived from the word Ramida. These are the, the Arab root words. Ramida, Ramd, Ramda, Taramud. These are the roots. You know what? All of these words signify a burning heat. A burning heat. The Arabs, before, they used to look at the person who is, uh, 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 يعني, في حرقة الغير. They used to look at the person who was uh, 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 erupting and is so angry and is on that state of angerness and he, uh, they used to call him Arhaqa Armadahu al Armadahu al in Arabic. Armadahu al It means that he's quite concerned and he's under the pressure and the, 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 the stress and the, the power the, 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 of, 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 uh, of anger. Arab used to call this Armadahu al so, inshallah, stop in here to give you a bit of uh, 
time to ask me a few questions, inshallah, in the wa related to the topic of kindness. And if there is no questions, inshallah, that we can leave. Jazakallah khair wa barakallah fikum. Let give you that chance, inshallah. Or anybody want to, inshallah, add any commentary or have a, a story short one to add to this that happens to him where he was, mashallah, a kind person. Something that, okay, whatever you have, inshallah, that will be uh, acceptable. You have a question, man, with a black hat? You have questions? You, you just came in. You have any questions? Okay, yeah, questions. Students here? Any questions from your boys? Any questions from the back? Oh, I've got a question. I, I told you, look, I look at your face, Michelle. I'm holding something there. You're hiding something there. <laughs> um, you know when you uh, said, I love everyone, like, neighbors one, mm. what if they're gay? Gay, well, <laughs> it's very, very awkward question. But alhamdulillah, I will try to, to, to touch it to the answer. You know, attitude and, 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 uh, and a person's, person's, how he is, that's between him and himself. Okay? okay. If that person is what, is, is, is what you see, and he is actually, uh, he's spreading that, and he's calling people to that, and he's uh, creating a bit of corruption in the society, in the community, and he's calling people towards that, and he's showing that to the whole world, then that is not my friend. Okay. He's not my friend, okay? But if he is what he is, but mashallah, but, I was going to say mashallah, but Allah give him there. If such a person as what you said, uh, 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 then we have to uh, stay <coughs> good with him, kind to him, inshallah. And why not? Why not give him dawah? I know some people in this masjid who came to me, wallahi, listen to you, to this ikhwan from the masjid, and he has this sort of things. He's a musalli. I'm telling you, he's a musalli. He's What's a musalli? Musalli is a worshipper, somebody who comes oh. to the masjid. Not necessarily to this masjid, maybe another masjid. We came to me, wallahi, look, I'm, we are fasting. I'm not going to tell you, just making up this example. Is a man, a young man, in one of the places, he comes to Imam, I, I can't, uh, you need to give me a bit of advice. My feeling, my desire is not from this side, from the other side. Man, is a, he's, 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 he's got a problem. So I'm going to say, to him, oh, no, 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 I have no right. No, I have no right. Alhamdulillah, and I dealt with him, inshallah, I gave him a bit of advice, and I, I counseled him, and I, alhamdulillah, but hey, now he's different. Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Any other questions, Ikhwan? And that goes the same, the same apply to the person, innovator. Somebody is making innovation, any kind of innovation, and he is actually, if that innovation that he does, it could be anything, we call it bida, which is something which is not... Mm, which is not according to the Prophet's tradition and legal ways, but to himself, yeah, to himself. Hada is no problem. But if this, this person would do bid'ah, but spread it, and calling people towards it, thinking that that is the legal ways, that is something else, that is not my friend. حَتَّى النَّبِي قَالَ لَا تُجَارِسْ لَا تُجَارِسْ الْبِدَعْ فَيَمْرَضَ قَلْبُكَ Do not sit in the company of the innovators, then your heart will be your heart will be diseased. Any other questions? Subhanallah. Look at this. Sahib bid'a la yatub. Wallahi, this is true. I've, I've met some people. Subhanallah. I don't want. I don't want to be specific on the denomination and the madhab ways. I don't want to be specific. Yeah. Maybe in this message, maybe in other messages, they are on a path. They are on a criteria. They are on a way, on a madhab that they will never, ever listen to anybody, even if they see a sign coming from Allah. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi wa ariyyatihi wa alihi wa ajma'in. Rabbana taqabbal lina innaka anta s-sami'u alim. Tub alina rabbana innaka anta tawab al-rahim. Allahumma akhfir wa rahmat akhir al-rahimin. Tajawaz anna anta akram akram. Ya Rabbana taqabbal minas siyama wal-qiyam. Allahumma uj'alna fi'ala shamil wa ta'alika minallah. 
اللهم اجعلنا قلنا من الكلام لا تعلنا وإخواننا يا رب العالمين اللهم قلنا في مقطع وقلنا فيه من فلسفة لسان فاغفر لها فاغفر لنا فيها يا رب العالمين ما أخرنا وما قدمنا ما أنا وما أصرنا إنك اغفر لنا ولأزواجنا اللهم هذه أزواجنا اللهم هذه أولادنا اللهم هذه بلدنا اللهم هذه our community اللهم هذه هذه جميع المسلمين والمسلمات وهذه غير المسلمين في مشارق الأرض والمغاربة إلى هذا الدين الحنيف اللهم اجعلنا يا رب العالمين هينا لينا سالم من المسلمين رافعين راية الخير والأمن والسلام أينما كنا وارتحنا اللهم حسن ألسنتنا حسن وجوهنا حسن أرفاضنا وثبت يقيننا ورزقنا العفو والعافية في الدين والدنيا والآخرة صل اللهم ولا أنسى أن أقول اللهم اغفر لنا والوالدين وارحمهما كما ربينا صغيرة واغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك يا مولانا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوة يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على الموصلين والحمد لله رب العالمين